Okay, so we're moving right along. We're going right into custom layouts now. So uh, stick with me, let's keep going. Let's go ahead and get into customizing a layout, okay? So let's just do a couple things here. So let's say I wanted to open up a paper palette. Okay. If I click on this icon, I can come down here. There's the panels and the libraries panels. This is basically going to bring up the papers palette. Okay. And you'll see in this drawer, you have the papers library as well. So when I come back over here, you'll see there's two. It doesn't matter which one you pick because it's going to pull everything you need right up over here. Okay. But let's say I have this as one thing that I want to use. Let's say, for example, um, I'm using a Cintiq right now. And let's say I don't want to cross my body constantly reaching over here. Let's say I take this toolbar. And if you notice, I can come over here and place this to the side. Okay. Now, you'll notice it becomes blue if you push it all the way to the edge. What that means, it snaps to the edge. It's not free floating at this point. Now. If you want that, you can leave that. If you don't, you don't have to, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that here. Okay, let's say this is my new layout. Okay, um, maybe I will stick, uh, well, actually, let's just leave it like this, okay? And now I have this section over here completely wide open for myself. Let's say, for example, I could come in here and pick, um, let's see, brush selector panel. Okay, and maybe I'll leave this one open so it's easy for me to have access to. You can see it's starting to take up space and I'm not saying this is how I would actually do my layout, but I'm just showing you that you can pull all these different things out. And let's say at this point, if I go up to window, I go layout, hit save layout. So I'm just gonna RR test. And actually, I'm going to put trash because I know I'm going to delete this. I want to remind myself to get rid of this. Uh, so then I hit OK. So now what you're going to find inside this layout at the bottom is your new layout. So let's say if I came over here to this first one under the quick switch. OK, now I have that. And now if we go back into uh, the layout. If I toggle, let's just do the toggle layout, it'll switch back and forth. Okay, now if you want to delete, just go right back in here, hit the delete key, a delete layout menu. And when you see the three dots, the ellipses, what that means in any application, doesn't any application, not just Corel, it's going to give a dialog box. When you have this dialog box, go ahead and pick the layout that you want to get rid of. I only have one custom layout in there, and that's why this is the only one that's available to me. I hit delete, and it should be removed. Now, it is removed. Now you're wondering, well, why does it look the same? So if you come back in here and hit default, it'll go back to the basic default. So that is how you customize your layout. There's a few more things that we can do in the program. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and start diving into that in the next module. We're gonna be talking about workspaces. Okay, so if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, please go down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell button so you can be notified. Uh, the next time I drop one of these uh, Corel Painter or Photoshop or whatever I'm dropping, if you want to stay connected, make sure you hit those buttons. And until next time, deuces.